welcome to jay sticky crown if you're watching my channel for the first time please subscribe come let's get into the video in this video i'm going to share the good news that australia is open for all eligible visa holders you can hear that from the prime minister australians are looking forward looking forward to christmas they're looking forward to being at the ashes they're looking forward to coming together they're looking forward to 2022 australians are looking forward it is reopening to the world and today's announcement is yet another step forward for australia now from the 1st of december this year fully vaccinated visa holders can come to australia without needing to apply for a travel exemption the first point to note down here is we don't need the travel exemption for eligible visa holders to travel in and out of australia so the eligible visa holders which includes skilled workers students refugees and uh, working holiday makers as you all know uh, australia is allowing vaccinated citizen from new zealand and singapore from this month this will extend uh, to the people from japan and south korea from the next month so you can see here the official tweet from the prime minister so with this restrictions lift the country is expecting more than 200000 eligible visa holders to welcome back australia one important point to note here is the states like nsw victoria and act is no longer required mandatory quarantine for vaccinated people and people visiting other states can check their state restrictions and we look forward to those states joining that 80% club south australia not far away not far away at all and i'm but no doubt that queensland and western australia will soon follow suit and here you can see the count of offshore visa holders as of october 16 2021 so i'll just take you through some of the detail in relation to today's announcement so from 1 december 2021 fully vaccinated eligible visa holders can come to Australia without the need to apply for a travel exemption. Now eligible visa holders include skilled and student cohorts as well as refugee, humanitarian, temporary and provisional visa holders. A full list of the eligible subclasses is now available on the Home Affairs website. Now in order to be able to access uh, the new provisions, uh, travellers will need to be fully vaccinated. They will need to provide proof of their vaccination status and they will need to present a negative PCR test that has been taken within 3 days prior to their departure. Now also as the prime minister has said from 1 December this year we will also be welcoming back fully vaccinated citizens of Japan and South Korea. So all of the information has now been updated on the Home Affairs website so I would encourage all people wishing to access any of those provisions to uh, look at that website so that they are clear on what the criteria is. Look these changes are crucially important to Australia as we go through our reopening phase. It is as I've indicated another step forward to us. Australians are looking forward to what the future holds for them in a post-COVID world and the Morrison government is doing all that it can to ensure that we are working in a timely but safe man manner to open Australia's borders. Thanks for watching. Please do share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.